So try to like try to put your try to put your like camera to the to the comfortable place for you, and we will yep. continue. Okay. So I will also try okay, guys, to put it somewhere. I can see what I can already? put up my laptop so a bit higher. Can... Just a sec. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Not the whole thing, yeah? Is that good? Better. No. Okay, so then as we are cooking, we have to wear some special clothing that we will not become dirty, so just wear it. I, I, I will not be wearing special clothing because I will be only the part. Huh? Yeah. So my, my uncle is here. A thing like that. Uh, uh, no, uh, never mind. It's okay. I just swear it for 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 the show, you know, to look appropriate <laughs> like a host. Okay. So uh, before beginning, then uh, have you ever like tried Central Asian cuisine? I d I don't think so. Um, I. Well, if if you if you count if you count Turkey, but I think that's more Western Asia slash Europe. So I don't think I've actually cooked Central Asian food before. Uh huh. So you mean cooked or tried? Oh, tried. Um, I'm actually not sure what I've tried Central Central Asian Asian food. But what but are what, like what comes what what comes to your what comes to your mind when you like first think about Central Asian food? Whew, um, that's a very good question because I honestly don't really don't really have a clue actually. That's uh -huh. why I'm very curious about what we're going to make actually. And, and what stereotypes do you have about like Kazakhs? What do they eat? How do they say? What stereotypes? Um, well, I know <laughs> that. <laughs> well, I know that uh, 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 a, a lot of people in Kazakhstan sp speak Russian as well. So maybe yes. some, so maybe some stereotypes about that. But I don't think I particularly have stereotypes about Kazakhstan. What what, what are some of the stereotypes? <laughs> okay, so uh, I think everyone knows that we we love horse meat. We make a lot of food from that, but mainly we also make a lot of food from from Ibra. Oh, duck, duck. duck, yes. So, duck. Okay. and today, and today, yes, we're gonna cook like uh, I would not call maybe traditional, but it's popular uh, breads in Kazakhstan. So they are called bowersaks. So can you pronounce it, bowersak? Bowersak. <laughs> Once again, bowersak. Bowersak. Yeah. Good. Okay. So. Uh, you, you made you made a great thing that you prepared uh, this thing for it, and now uh, to me uh, today uh, will help my young brother. His name is Ibra. Hello, nice to meet you. Great. Hi, nice so, to meet you. I'm done. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I want to show you. Uh, yes, I want to show you what do I have. This is what is it? You have it also? Yes. Um, yes. Let's, let's start by sharing the dog because maybe people don't know how to do that. Oh, maybe people don't know how to make it. Yes. Are you saying yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. My okay. 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 I was very uh, happy that Altmai sent me the recipe. Yes. <laughs> Great. So Altmai, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, can you please share how to cook this dog? Yeah, uh huh. I think you can. You and Dan can talk. I, I am I doing? I am doing that. So uh, actually, I would like to uh, put into comment. So first, <laughs> um, uh, there is no like special amount of how much uh, flour and sugar you should add, and you do it as you want, as much as you want to prepare. But what we need right now is the sugar, salt, and oil, uh, flour. Yes. Then the main uh, ingredient. So first, you should put salt and sugar 
in one to one proportion. So I'm putting two different. Um, and while I'm, I'm uh, taking the milk out of the fridge, you can talk. So we can talk now. Yeah, thank you, Opnay. Okay, uh, I hope our like, who are, who's watching us? Uh, it's interesting. So I hope I you no you're enjoying it. Yeah, I also have no idea. But anyway, so um, Hi, Dan, please, can you can you please share your debating skills? How did you decided to debate, and uh, why are you participating in this big event? Oh, um. I think I started like low, low key at middle school. There was like one very nice teacher and she said, uh, you should do this. I was like, okay, sure. Um, yeah, then I did that for a while. It wasn't very competitive, it was just fun. Uh, then I started to study and I joined the debating society there. I really enjoyed it. And I've been debating for four years now. Um, and, I'm, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm judging at the coming uh, EUDC going to be a lot, lot of fun i think it's going to be the, i think the first time that udc is online so very exciting uh -huh. stuff okay so and who is language officer and why did you decide to apply for that position okay well um so what the language officer actually means is um well we have a separate category category of uh of out rounds for people who have english as a second language because um when, you, yeah. when English is your first language, you obviously have a lot of advantages in debating. So to also encourage, encourage people who have English as a second language to go for the break, um, there's a separate category for them. Um, but uh, in order to determine objectively whether you, uh, uh, whether you actually are eligible for that category, um, uh, there's a language team that, uh, that determines that. We ask them firstly in interviews what their exposure to English was. Um, that's that's more of a questionnaire and if then anything is clear we ask them to come to interview um and uh we have a couple of interviews we we had them already we'll have a couple of more this week i really enjoy doing so because it actually is a very nice way to interact with language and what makes you uh, understand the language and how you interact with others i think it's a very interesting thing to do so i'm really enjoying it so far great okay so uh Oh my, now can we please continue cooking? Yeah, okay. So yeah, thank great. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the next thing you should add is uh, one cup of a milk. I have about like 200, 250 milliliters. Uh, and uh, to make a uh, very warm uh, climate for the <laughs> yeast, you should add a very hot sauce. I added about half of the, uh, of the cup. And then we should mix it very well. Okay. Um, and after that, we should add the yeast. And I want to add about um, like about a teaspoon. So yeah. Okay. So now we we should let yeast like to stay here for a while, about like five ten minutes. We should do. Great. Uh huh. Hear it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do exactly the same thing then? So um, I think I made the mistake by instead of steering with the spoon, I was like, I should do that with my hands. So I at <laughs> some point had to go all over my hands, and I was like, How am uh -huh. I getting that off? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> But for the rest, uh, Alton, I sent me in, in, in before uh, a recipe of how I should do so. And I think until, up till this point, I think I did well. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, so uh, did you Google it or not? Uh, no, 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 not at all, actually. Um, uh, Great. I, I, I did watch a video, though, but I think it was, I think it was all in Kazakh. Uh, and I'm not very proficient in Kazakh, so oh, yeah. um, I was like, oh, this, this sounds nice, but I have no idea what this individual is saying. Uh -huh. Okay. What else, do, what, else, what else do you know about Kazakhstan then? Um, so I, th I thought it was really interesting that um, the, the, the name of the capital uh, got changed so quickly from Nur <laughs> to Nur Sultan. Um, yeah. 
I actually like half know what the story behind it is. So, so uh, well, you can guess my name is Bexultan. Yeah. So the next name of the capital will be Bexultan. So it's okay. Ah, because you will be the next president of uh, Kazakhstan. Yes, definitely. <laughs> if I would have been eligible yes, to okay. vote, I would definitely have voted for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So uh, actually, we are joking. I hope our like people who are watching this will understand that it's just jokes. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. So Altmai, what's next? Yeah, next we should add some oil. Uh, here is about like four or five uh, tablespoons. Uh, I just made it easier for everybody and put it in the like cup. Uh, and yes, like, not to waste our oil, I also add some hot water. So yeah, and then we should take it in. Do you cook uh, often, uh, Bexelton? Oh, uh, yes, because I live in the dormitory. And, uh, you know, when you are buying food, it costs a lot. And when you are cooking it, it's way cheaper. Like maybe Absolutely. five times cheaper. Yes. And uh, yes, I do cook a lot. What about you? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, um, basically just very simple recipes because I'm not a very genius cook. Um, I can make some very basic things and I can make them quite good, but I'm not very great at cooking. Um, so yeah, what's the what's the what's the, your recipe you're the most proud of? I'm proud of wow, it's chicken with potatoes. They are baked actually, but they are really like they are spicy, tasty, and really beautiful. Like you know what? <sighs> That is good. Yeah, I mean, sounds good. <laughs> Let's do that for the next cooking yeah. show. Yeah, we could we could try actually. What about yours? What do, um, what do you like? So I I make quite a decent risotto. Mm, great. Um, yeah, a friend of mine gave, gave gave me a recipe. It's with goat cheese and stuff, and it's it's it, it's it's actually really nice. It's all all gooey and stuff. So cool. Okay. All right, out nine. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So the next thing and the last ingredient for, uh, to make the dog, we should add the flour. Um, and again, um, I texted Dan how much he should, uh, he should add, um, but like it wasn't enough. He added a little bit more. So um, here, everything depends on the case and we should add uh, as much oil to make it like uh, very soft and not to uh, leak any liquid. So basically, the last thing we should do. Yeah, while I'm adding this one, if you need. Maybe it's because your mug is a lot bigger than mine. Because well, I think yeah, I maybe. poured in at, 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 I think, four or five cups or something. Um, yeah. uh -huh. Ah, fair. Because oh, firstly, oh, I did two or three, and then I could basically swim in it. She, she has she has a cup for a beer, you know? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> and you made with, with the cups for shots. Am I right? <laughs> no? no, actually, <laughs> basically, it worked like this. Oh, so it's a big shot. Okay, yeah. yeah, but I think it's smaller than Alton Ice, so maybe that's why I needed more. Yes, uh huh. All right, or I use too much milk, also possible. I think we have the same, like it's quite big. Oh, that's a, that's a huge mug, it's huge. Yep, yeah? it's really huge. Okay, all right, actually, it's not a mug, you can see here. Yeah, it's for oh, that's floor. so cool. Okay. Oh, so you can filter the floor, so well, yeah. So alt nine. Yeah, I'm continuing adding floor because it's like okay. small. Uh, are there anyone who are also like cooking and looking to our like live stream on YouTube? Dan, do you have any friends who are watching you right now? I have no idea actually. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not sure whether I told them <laughs> that I'm gonna do the show. I told a, I told a couple of people, 
So um, yes, ye yesterday, uh, a friend of mine asked me, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, I'm in a cooking show with some people from Kazakhstan. He was like, wait, what? <laughs> Without context, it sounds quite random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, okay. if they're not watching, they can at least not see me screwing it up. So uh, yeah, can you can you show us like what are you doing? Like, can you show what do you have on your tables? So, for example, mm -hmm. uh, to make it comfortable, try to put your floor here. Put this mug here. What's mug? Second is right Second is right here. Duck. Put your duck here. Uh -huh. And by the way, do you have this wooden stick or not wooden? Well, maybe I was gonna tell you, um, I don't, so I think I fixed it with an empty bottle of wine. Great, great, <laughs> we have a life pack. So, uh, if you don't also have this kind of stick, you can use uh, this bottle of wine or bottle of anything. So yeah, Dan is quite creative. Cool. New problems that require <laughs> new solutions. Yeah. Oh. I think we're into new life parts now, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, you need, to, you need to do something at, at a point like that. Um, so I figured it might work. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it will work, definitely. Okay, great. So, uh, Dan, question. Yeah. How does debating help you in your life or like studies, maybe? Um, so, I think um, in studies it primarily helps with writing essays and stuff um, because it, um, I think firstly my English got a lot better um, by debating in English regularly. Um, but also just in uh, very few words, like argumenting a lot. I think that that would really help. Um, and I think in every in everyday life, it it just helps in being more confident in uh, standing for groups and having to tell them something. Or um, yeah, I mean the classic example is the table discussions with your parents, um, which I win now. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Do you debate a lot, Bexelton? I, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, no. So, but actually, I used to debate for like one year. No, I, I, I used to do that at school, but then at university with uh, no much debating club. I did like one semester, and then you know, like I wanted to try something new, like uh, dancing uh, bachata or salsa. And, oh wow. Uh, yeah so and also like acting to in drama drama club so uh, i i had to give up debates to start something new and but but you know like uh i'm still like in connection with uh, debaters mm. uh, i like being host on their events like this event and like, uh, like yeah not only cooking like uh talking uh, also dancing and uh, making some videos so it's quite interesting for me you know so because i also see like a lot of pluses in debating for example i get rid of uh not not get rid of i i had some experience a great experience to my public speaking so uh, you know to be honest uh to be a host you have to be very confident and speak very good and uh, clearly when you are having some events and debates are one of the like tools to help you to be confident and to speak clearly. Yeah, well, very good. Maybe then the yeah. next tutorial can be on dancing. No problem, bro, no problem. So- uh, Can you show us some moves? Uh, do you have your phone with you? Yeah. Can you please turn on some music? I, I, I wanna dance. So yeah, here. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, it's really rare. Even though it's never seen that. So, yeah, uh, one thing you should understand bachata and salsa is, are like dances where you have to have a partner, you know? Yeah. To feel and something like that. But 
uh, we will we will do it uh, without partner. Mm. So uh, I I cannot cut this thing. So bachata like first step like two steps, two step right, two step left, two step. Well, I got the moves. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, if you will visit Kazakhstan, uh, I can promise you that I will I will teach you to dance this uh, bachata and salsa with uh, with cool partners, and uh, you will enjoy it. Definitely. Now I absolutely have to come to Kazakhstan at some point. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, no, so, sure. by the way, where, where where are you living then? Um, I, I'm living in the Netherlands. Um, no, not Amsterdam. Um, I'm, more, I'm more in the eastern part of the Netherlands. It's called Nijmegen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not all Dutch people. <laughs> um, but right. yeah, this is like closer to the border with Germany. So it's, it's, this, it's pretty fun actually this... because um, the majority of the Dutch delegation at Euros this year um, comes from Nijmegen. So uh, most of them will be debating from Nijmegen. So this is basically debating capital uh, of the Netherlands, uh, this Euros. Wait, so you're oh, actually no. your first language is German, am I right? No, my first no. language is Dutch, um, Dutch. which uh, uh, yeah, which sounds a bit like German, but it's it's a different language. I mean, some people would kill me uh, if I say uh, Dutch <laughs> is similar to German. I can also speak okay, German though. Okay. All right, and uh, what about drugs? Drugs. Is it something like that in <laughs> <laughs> or, or not? <laughs> no, man, just alcohol. <laughs> no, hold it, please. Okay, I got it. So, Altmai, what do you have? Are you ready? Uh, I cannot tell that I'm 100% ready, but uh, I'm like done with the process. You should just mix it, mix it, mix okay. it, and get the okay, rough, right. and then you should uh, put, uh, uh, yeah, you should, you should cover it and Wait uh, a bit more while uh, the dog becomes twice as big, or like you can wait it one day. The yeast should uh, like twice the dog. And when you don't have like a lid or something, then does a thing like this work as well to cover it up? Yes. Yep. yes. Oh, okay, great. That's what I did. That's why it's all covered in dough. <laughs> you, you, you have to wash it next. After that, okay. Yeah, I, I most definitely have to. <laughs> okay, so uh, now uh, let's move to the main part. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, great. So, uh, can you please help me? Yes, okay. So, uh, before, before getting this to the table, take some floor. Take it and put it to your table. Ah, so it's not gonna stick. Yes, like like uh, do you know in from Turkey this Norsiep who does like that? <laughs> I thought it was more Italian. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's from Turkey. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you do this one and uh, you you try to make it a lot actually because we will use it and then we take it. From, from our should I just follow your lead? Yeah, you should just follow me. Make sure I can actually do what you're doing. Are you with me? Okay. So 
clear? Can you show me, yeah. please? So okay. putting some floor on the table. Yes, and also put some floor on the top. Okay. In order for the dog not to be sticky. Yes, we can. And um, actual Tom, should I like um, put the entire thing on the table at once or just a part of it? Yes, yes, you can put it entire. But see, you have a lot. Well, so uh, if you. If you That's quite much, though. So. <laughs> yes, I mean, you can cook a lot and then invite your friends or give it to your neighbors. Yep. Making some friends with, uh, with this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or instead of cooking dinner, you can uh, eat, eat this bar sex. <laughs> that seems like a very balanced diet. I'm sorry. When I used to cook, I was like back in Lebanon, they used to eat it with sugar or with some jam. You know. By the way, is it supposed to be this sticky? Uh, yes, it's supposed to be, but you have to put a lot of floor on it. So it yes. will not be sticky. Yeah. Okay, okay, you can put it on the floor. <laughs> and then start to roll it or? Just stop, start like touching it, like you touch, uh, like, like you touch, I don't know what, but like you touch some, something. <laughs> I'm trying to turn this a bit so see what I'm doing. Have you ever tried to cook pizza? Yeah, actually I did. So it's some, some yeah, it's, that it's, we it's are quite, making. Quite similar, uh, it's quite a similar thing. Again. Yes, it's, we, we do the similar thing, but instead of adding some tomato or some other ingredients, we just we just cut it to some little pieces. And That's then we, good. yes. I think your rack is a bit too sticky. You should probably put some more. <laughs> can, can you show me what do it again man <laughs> can, can you repeat please dan i'm not seeing it i did something like this yeah exactly great <laughs> you know I'll, I'll try to do it like like some italian do this pizza <laughs> You're a genius, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mine somehow smells a lot like yeast, though. What, like what? Like yeast. What is that? The thing that makes it uh, makes it go bigger. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alpnay, what about you? What about me? Are you cooking also with us? Yeah, I'm trying to do the dog for my family and we will cook it a bit later. Ah, a bit later. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. Okay, by so... the way, Balsak, in every occasion, I think, in our culture. Mm -hmm. There is a fun fact about Borsak. In Kazakhstan, people like me are called Borsak. Yes, we are. We are a bit. Because I'm, uh, I'm overrated and I'm <laughs> Yeah, that's how we like, not the bullies them, but not, it's not like we bully them. But it's more like, you know, like cute way of saying that. Like, oh, you're not so cute, but you know, you're so power sack. Seems like that, you know? <laughs> nice, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to explain to you. Okay, can you show me what is here? It might look so a bit like this. Yeah, great, I also have the same. And it's not sticky anymore. 
Yeah, great. So we, we just put it. <laughs> great. Okay, now uh, we wash our hands and uh, come, come to the oven, to the gas, I guess, right? Okay. Do you have oil for cooking? For roasting? Wash my hands. <laughs> okay, great. I washed my hands. By the way, Dan, what is the situation with coronavirus in your city, in country? Um, well, um, uh, we have been in, in like uh, in like lockdown for a couple of months, but now we are slowly like missing it. So uh, yeah, cafes and bars are opening up again, uh, but I still can't go to, to university. Uh, well, now it's holiday, so we can't go there. Probably I will have to study from home like half a year longer uh, instead of going to uni. So that's quite sad. But I'm happy that we're not in the total lockdown anymore. How is it? How is it in the? How is it where you live? In Kazakhstan. Yeah. Well, uh, the situation actually is not good. not very good because a lot of people are like have have this disease and. Uh, Actually, really, like many people even died. So we had some situation like similar to Italy or to United States, but like, but for the past week, yes, I guess for the past week, like the situation is getting to the normal place because we again had a lockdown for for like two weeks. Now, now it's been three weeks actually. How how we have a lockdown? Yeah, and. And the situation is getting better, but uh, but but what what do you want to say? <laughs> the bright side of the story is that half of the population of Kazakhstan have antibodies for coronavirus, so we are safe. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I, I still think it's not. I don't know. Is it good or not? But okay, let's let's continue. So we we have this. Do you have this thing? How to call it? Ben? I don't know. Alt nine. Alt nine. How do we call it in English? Fan? Fan, fan, yes. Yeah, fan. Okay, so in Russian, in Russian we call it uh, skavarotka. Can you try to pronounce it? Yeah, great. Skavarotka. Oh, that's such a nice word. <laughs> I think you, you think that it's some kind of like a bad word, you know? No? Skavarotka. Okay. No, anyway. So we, we turn it on to... If you have like half a minute, it says my internet connection is unstable. I'm going to check whether my cable can reach it to the kitchen. Okay. We will, we will wait for him. So uh, while we are waiting for Dan, I, uh, I can tell you... Um, let's say some advertisement. So. Uh, if you are in Kazakhstan, uh, you can uh, write down to me to my Instagram page, like Bixel Time came out, so it's, it will not be written here. But anyway, so like, yes, my name is Bixel Time, my surname is Kemel, so you can uh, write to me. I can tell you everything about Kazakhstan. But what else? So uh, in Kazakhstan, many people uh, may be wondering what are we producing? Uh, yes, we produce oil, a lot of oil uh, in the west side of Kazakhstan. In the south side of Kazakhstan, we make a lot of cotton, uh, watermelon, just melon, a lot of oh. fruits and vegetables. In North Kazakhstan, we produce a lot of milk, a lot of potatoes and pshenitsa, uh, how it will be. Uh, uh, wet, wet, not wet, wet, we, we, uh, so how do we, what, what is it? What is it made of? So we, we, we make this thing. Um, and uh, one of the greatest things about the south part of Kazakhstan is that we have a lot of melons and watermelons, which Ooh. are quite quite cheap and very tasty. So I yes. strongly, yeah, yummy. I strongly recommend you to try it uh, in summer when you'll be in Kazakhstan. Okay. 
Yeah, you got a yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah. 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 I hate that. <laughs> and uh, who are you listening? So what songs do you like? Oh, what songs I do like? Oh, actually, actually, quite, actually quite a lot. Um, my girlfriend hates me for liking Taylor Swift very much. Taylor Swift? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. No, but um, <laughs> I, I, I listen to I listen to a lot of kind of music. Um, a lot, a lot of pop, but also uh, more of the of the oldies like uh, rock and stuff. Um, sometimes some hip hop, but. And my girlfriend's now trying to get me into jazz, but I'm not liking it yet that much, but it starts to come. Okay. Do you play on any instruments? No, no. I, um, I, 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 used, to, I used to drum, um, but I quit that like years and years ago. I don't think I can mm -hmm. still play it. Okay. I play guitar. Oh, nice. That's quite awesome, dude. I don't I, I don't have it, but, but uh, I would I would play if I had. I have, but I don't play it. <laughs> okay, so uh, so have a look. So uh, put some oil. So we put this oil here, and we turn on this oven. We put on fire. Is it turn on? Is it turned on? Yeah. Yes. But so, okay, great. so it's boiling. It's frozen, yeah. But the oil is boiling. All right. Yes, and while it's uh, boiling, uh, we put it not to very hot uh, fire. We just we just put it to some small just uh, it would time by time became like hotter and uh, at that time we will continue uh doing our uh, working with our like smog all right so we we, we come back here we see it looks a little bit sticky <laughs> yes Yeah, Dan, while you're preparing that, could you please tell us how did you prepare to the tournament? How I prepared for this? For the tournament. <laughs> championship. Oh, how how I, pre I prepared for the for the championship. Yeah. Um well, actually, not not that much. I just I just went to tournaments either to speak or to judge, um, to make sure that I'm in a good like fight before I start with Euros. Um, but yeah, I actually didn't do that much. I think people who speak at at the championships often prepare more because they sometimes make like an entire database of information that they have on specific countries and that kind of stuff. They uh, uh, do a lot of readings about all kinds of material. Um, yeah, I didn't do that, um, but I know a lot of people have. So yeah, my preparation for Euros is, uh, well, <laughs> this. Studying, studying. Mm -hmm. Studying the, the Kazakh cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> but if by the way, if, if, if not, if not coronavirus, would you come to Kazakhstan? Yeah, I definitely would have come to Kazakhstan um, for, the, for the championship, but I was then planning on going a bit earlier to do some sightseeing in Kazakhstan because I hear the nature is awesome. Yeah. So yeah, I was planning on doing so, but coronavirus didn't agree. Yeah. Are you a big fan of sports? Sports, um, I quite like football. Like soccer. Well, um, there's uh, there, there's this team from uh, from my hometown, um, which have been have been doing recently well last season. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm not uh, sure. I know. How... Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know much about football, but I know one player from Netherlands. His name was uh, Van 
Van Persie, yes. Van Persie, ja, Robin van Persie. Yeah. Do you, do you remember like the World Championships uh, of the Netherlands against Spain, where he like headed the the ball amazingly well in, into the goal? Um, in in 2012? Uh, I think 2014. 14, yeah, 14, yeah. Against Spain. Mm -hmm. We were happy about it. If any Spanish people are watching, five to one. Cinco. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so. How are you? Are you doing it with your bottle of wine? Uh, not yet. Get it now. <laughs> so happy I didn't throw this thing away yet. Again, what? So happy I didn't throw this thing away yet. Okay. Because now it's very helpful. <laughs> hey, Elton, nice back. So, then, what's your, uh, what's your like maybe lovely uh, type of wine that you prefer or you love drinking or enjoying drinking? So, so, so once again, what what's type of wine or what sort of wine or what kind of wine do you like or you enjoy oh. drinking oh okay okay um so um i slightly prefer reds over whites um and um i uh, i really like a uh, multiple piano it's it's, um, it's an it italian one it's amazing uh-huh and what, how much you does more? it cost how much does it cost for example um it it, 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 re it really it really depends um when they are um uh, I often just buy them when uh, they are off priced and then they are like five euros a bottle. So that's pretty nice. Five, year, five euros for bottle. Well, yeah, quite, quite cheap, quite cheap, yeah. yes. Are, are you more of a beer drinker or more of a wine drinker or more of the booze? Uh, <laughs> I'm more prefer of uh, kumis, you know, <laughs> joking. So I, I more prefer uh, beer. Over, beer, yeah. Over yeah. Is, is the beer any good in Kazakhstan? <laughs> no, we we love German beer or some European beer. Hmm. What kind do you like? Um, I like which one? I try it. Ah, I think you can you can tell me the names and I will say like yes or no. Um, well, the most uh, well known Dutch in the in like internationally is Heineken or Heineken. Well, yes, of course, definitely. I like it, yes. Hmm. yes. That's pretty funny because like internationally, it's very popular, um, but yes. a lot of people in the Netherlands don't really like it. I mean, I quite like it, mm -hmm. but, but a lot of people don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, now they're trying to sell American so beers. He Heineken, Heineken, Heineken is from Netherlands. Yeah, it wow. is. Wow. Yeah, there was also so you were um, like big exporters. <laughs> yeah, that. basically. And there's also a movie about it. <laughs> because, as far as um, the, the, the uh, like uh -huh. manager was uh, kidnapped at one point, so there's a movie about that, uh, the Heineken kidnapping. Is it interesting to watch? Um, yeah, yeah, it's not great, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, no, uh, like I made, uh, I made it like some first flats for for pizza, but it's not for pizza. We will just now cut it. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I will take a uh, knife. Which one to take? So mine look like this. This one. I think that looks good. So? Okay. Okay. Ninja, can you show me? 
And what's next? So uh, are you ready? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to get more ready than I am now. So let's, let's go. But can, can you show me, please? I, I just want to have a look. So how's yours? Wow, yeah, quite good. By the way, wow. I'm using like uh, uh, those things where they put beer bottles in to make sure my laptop is a bit higher. Otherwise, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Heineken here, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this video and, uh, was not sponsored. Yes. <laughs> they should pay for us for that reason. Okay. And uh, the next step to do is uh, if you want to like feel some pleasure, you can uh, put some wine on it. Okay. All right. So we, can, we will just cut it. So have a look how I will do that. So like a B-roll, like a, in a real cinematic, you know, like shh. <laughs> okay. And it's, it's ready. Okay, let's go here. We take this part. Again, shh. Make this sound. <laughs> just to add some how uh, how thick do you make them what how thick do you make uh, the rows um let, let me have a look like <laughs> Well, you know, bro, size doesn't matter, but this is like maybe half, half, half centimeter. Okay, uh, that will do. It's, it's not, it's not big. No, it's smaller. It's smaller. Yummy. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to sing Justin Bieber again. <laughs> no, I will. I will not. <laughs> okay. Do, do you like songs of Justin Bieber? I think they are quite good. Like uh, some, some are, some are good. Some are good. If I was okay, a okay, boyfriend, okay. never let you go. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Yes. Cooking show, expectations, we're gonna cook. Reality, Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Bieber, so, Heineken, and uh, Robin van Persie. <laughs> by the way, what were you expecting when you, you were like agreeing to cook Bauer sex? To be honest, I had honestly no clue. I was just like, this sounds fun, let's go. <laughs> okay. What do you do in your daily life? Next, Sultan. Uh, well, well, again, again, can you can you repeat, please? I ask, uh, what do you do in your daily life? Do so, you work, do you study? Um, yes, I study, but currently we have holidays, summer vacations, yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm like I'm working uh, as an English tutor. Oh, nice. Yes, but I don't like it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, it takes a lot of energy if you have ever like tried to teach someone English. It takes mm. a lot of energy. And uh, I like making videos. This thing I like a lot, like making okay, videos, nice. making some making some funny videos. Uh, I find it interesting. Hmm. What kind of videos yeah. do you make then? Because like funny um, videos, what should I imagine? Uh, imagine dragons. <laughs> so uh, let, let me think. Um, I make uh, videos, like, you know, like some sketches, like some oh, fine nice. videos, like, yeah, so quite funny videos, but they are mostly in Russian. Yeah, and, I was afraid uh, so, I was gonna uh, ask. Yes, so uh, I make uh, commercial videos, and I also have one video in English. That's the only one video in English, which I made 
uh, like for my home assignments for writing for digital media. And you can have a look. I will send it to you later. Do you have Instagram? I do. And do you have TikTok? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, TikTok. I, I, what? Sorry, what did you say, Alvina? Oh, oh so she you. says about TikTok competition. Yes. So right now uh, they are annu they announced some TikTok competition. You can participate there oh, and yeah. win some valuable prize. And uh, I think Dan, you should try this, and this will be like your debut, and you will become <laughs> famous maybe but um i also signed signed uh, our delegation up for the eu dc vision so uh -huh. <laughs> i'm not sure whether i can also do the tiktok thingy oh. maybe i should ask my sister she's really uh, good I, are you participating in eu dc vision yeah we are participating in eu dc vision wow, what, what is that what is that can you can you explain what is it well, Atman, would you like? Okay. Uh, it's actually uh, participants from each country should shoot a video and make a cover on the uh, song, but it, this cover should be debate relatable. You can watch so, one example video. Okay. Talking about again, on what it should be about? It should be in native language or in native using native music. Using the music, but the text should be about debate. Hmm. About debate. But by the way, uh, Bexelton, how big do you make uh, the pieces you're cutting now? Oh, you so uh, what size? You can yep. have a look. This is this is my hand. This is this is this like is this is Bowersack. Yeah. Oh, okay, so size or, or it's hand, basically any any size. Like we can yes try size to. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. Okay, so yeah. I think I made mine a bit too thin. That's I've got them oh, now. I, this size. Can I have a can I have a look? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, they are so cute! Yeah, great. I think they are fantastic. I think I made them a bit too thin, but then I just make them taller. Looks like they can do it. All right, so now we are, we are um, I'm done with it. I think you are also done. And uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, you are done, okay. The buns. Do you wanna build a snowman? Okay. So now I'm ready. What about you? Are you ready? I'm still finishing off some last pieces. Okay. Get ready for the next bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, some, some funny things. In the right corner, we have a fighter from Kazakhstan fighting with his stick and uh, fighting against Barusak. <laughs> On the left corner, we have a Dan from Netherlands, he will fight with bottle of wine. And uh, type in comments who are you, uh, who are you supporting in this bottle? I don't and think I will stand fight... a chance. So the only yes. correct answer is to bet on Dexelton. No. <laughs> no, uh, and uh, we will we will have a bottle. We have a bottle in this in this area, in this area. So yep. it will be yes, interesting. Okay. Oh, so uh, maybe we can uh, try it then. Hey, you got the bottle of wine as well. <laughs> okay, Joe, I'm joking. Uh, like my 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 but lovely aunts and uncle are are here, so ah. they will. They don't know that <laughs> yes, yes, they don't know that I'm drinking. See. <laughs> 
I was going to say, like, pure boy for them, yes. I was going to say, the bottle is just a poor man's stick. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it, it almost like fell down, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, are you ready? I think ready. so. Okay, great. So now we will we will put them. So uh, try to now make it the fire a bit uh, higher. So we put I don't know. In my case, I will put okay. it to eleven. And uh, I will put the first one. I will put the first one. And uh, have a look, guys. So don't worry. You do it one so, by one. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do it one by one. So you can see that uh, my oil is not so hot. That's why it's getting like slowly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about yours? I'm waiting for a little bit because I feel like the oil isn't hot enough yet. Oh, I got it. Okay. So because then you have a little... very warm. So I turned the gas off again. Uh huh. So, uh, but remember, they like, they cook, they are like being done in two or three minutes. That's why prepare some spoons. Oh, or plates, plates yeah. to, like to put it to, to collect the balls. Really. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, and we take some one plate. Okay, so I'm legit nervous for this one. So let's see. Yeah, we, we, we took this plate. We, we put it right here. Oh, I think it's working. Yeah, you have a look, have a look. Do you have the same? Can, can I have a look? Hey, yeah! Why, why, yeah, yeah, cool. I can even feel the smell. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. It smells great. No, smell. And then, yes. And one by one, you have to turn them around to to allow them like fully be covered and be cooked. So for example, mine. Wow! Yes, they are becoming becoming big. Could I turn them around or? No, no. Well, wait, wait, wait a little bit. So they they will be they will have a look like they are cooked. You you will have a look like like. Yeah, they have some like bubbles on it now. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Great. Awesome. Yeah. So we oh, wow. are it, it the smells, champions. It like um, this, this thing that we in Netherlands eat with with New Year. Um, it's called oliebollen, and on the last day of the year we bake. Like a lot of the, these things, but we make them like round. Happy New Year's. <laughs> so, have you like, have you ever like tasted something like that before? Yeah. So I think uh, it's it, it smells pretty much like uh, like the the New Year's things uh, I was talking about the the olive oil. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sure yeah, yeah. But th these get to be a bit more crunchy, I think. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, they're getting, getting very, very brown now, so I think I have to flip them. Yes, you have to turn around them or or like they are done. Is there uh, like brown like in both sides? Yes, you, you just, if they are brown in both sides, you just put them away. Like Yeah, because mine now look like this. Can you see? Well, we can have a look. Yeah, great. Fantastic. So, yeah, wow. I can cook. <laughs> now, now, now you can you can be Kazakh. Oh my God, this one is this one became dark. So don't just like you can just like me. <laughs> okay, but don't. I think mine are done. Oh my God, you have to you have to be a little bit fast because my first ones became very dark. Have a look. Oh yeah. So I think mine turned out pretty well. Yeah, yours are pretty well. Wow, great. So we continue cooking. Yeah. Just, uh, I, get, I, I, I think that your ball sacks are perfect. Like the color, I, I really like the color of the ball sacks. Yay! 
And when and when they're done, do you put something on them or do you just eat them like that? Uh, it's up to you. You can eat them without anything or if you want to eat it with, I don't know, with some jam or with Nutella or I don't know, with, with cheese, with butter, with anything. It's, you know, it's flexible foods. Please do what you want. I'm very unique. We, we, we eat it with, with what? With kefir, yes? Iran, do you know what is Iran? Have we kefir in English? Iran? Uh, I Iran, Iran like the, the yogurt drink. Yeah, the, you know it, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's Turkish, right? Yes. And we are, Kazakhs actually have very close traditions with uh, Turkish people uh, because like we are, from one et ethnic group like Turks, Turks. Yes. So that's why, yeah, we have a lot of similar. Oh, cool. Common. Yeah. Our language is a little bit similar. Hmm. Oh, but it's awesome because Iran can also be uh, bought in drug, sup in drug supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe my oil, oil has gotten a bit too hot because now we're getting a bit too dark. It becomes dark or what? Can I have a look? Oh, Jesus. oh you. <laughs> that was some hot oil. <laughs> wow. Um, yes. Like this. So I think they're fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, 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 zero. First, first round, your bower sacks were beautiful and you won. But next round, uh, next I round, won, I you guess. definitely win. Yes. Yes. So, oh yeah, this one. Oh no, no. Oh sweet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to change oil. Uh, well, why? Why do you want to change it? I think you should just be careful. Yeah, but uh, this one is now. I think the oil is starting to burn. Right. Oh, oh my god! So yeah, be careful, please. Yeah, that doesn't smell good. Oops. You can make your fire maybe a little bit. Yeah, I should temper it a little bit. Less? Yes. So that Ooh. it will not be very fast. This is how you shouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to offer this one to my worst enemy. <laughs> And where, where's your girlfriend? Will you like, will you give her to try it? Oh, um, she, uh, she's, she's at family right now because um, her uh, uncle and aunt uh, just, um, got, just got a daughter and she's now oh. seeing the baby. Well, better person. So uh, I congratulate you with it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I, I Okay. So done. Some new oil. Mm -hmm. So done. Do you have any traditions when I don't know some a new baby born that I don't know to to celebrate it to make some events or invite guests to celebrate the birth of the baby? Yes. Oh um yeah well actually there's one um uh, that's that the parents get uh, biscuits for the uh, for the people who visit. And on those biscuits, they put, um, they're called basically um, tiny mouses. Um, that, that's, that's a bit of a weird name, but they're like very small, like, yeah, very small round thingies that you put upon them. And uh, when uh -huh. it's a boy, they're blue. And when it's a girl, they're pink. Oh, yeah. So this is kind of the story. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got a younger sister, like two years younger. And... Um, I also got a cousin, and he is roughly the same age. So when my cousin was born, he's a boy. Um, me and my uncle went to the supermarket to get those uh, those uh, around things to put on the crackers. 
Um, mm -hmm. But we got the blue ones because that's a boy. And uh, the women behind the guest desk asked me, oh, did you just get, uh, get a brother? I said, no, a sister. But <laughs> I was confused because my sister had been born like a, a month and a half earlier. Still one of the favorite so stories I, from <laughs> Great. Uh, so I think I also have to add some oil because I think I'm getting rid of it. It's disappearing, evaporating. Mm, yeah. yeah, I, I right. a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just throwing them away now because they're not going to be very tasty. Yeah, it's quite hot. <laughs> I mean, every cooking show needs a point where the guest screws up. I think that was that moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, you know, I'm like, I don't have the script for that. And I was not expecting that because uh, like, I'm a little bit also busy with cooking and, and you should be very like, you know, uh, I don't cook it a lot. For example, my mom used to cook it. And uh, I'm like the one who comes and like eats it and enjoys it. And mm. right now I'm like switching and doing this work. And it's quite, I understand that it's quite really hard. I mean, I mean, it's quite, uh, it's easy, but it's hard to, to have a sh live show and uh, at the same time to cook. And yeah, to also pay quite, attention, yeah. Yes, and try to, I don't know, jokes, use some jokes or something like that. Okay, so now I have to wait a little bit. Looks, Oof. Look how brawly they are, like crispy. Oh, that looks very good. Yes, what about, uh, have you tried it or not? Or you are still continuing cooking? yourself a break once in a while. Have a bite. Can I have it? Yep. Okay, so while mine mine are finishing, speaking of jokes, there are three men. They're standing in front of the uh, Guinness Book of World Records uh, headquarters. And they feel uh -huh. like um, while we're here, we might as well try to uh, set a record. So the first man says, I bet I have the longest arms. So he goes in gets back out very happily and says, yes, I indeed have the longest arms. Well, the, the second man says, I can do it as well. I bet I have the longest legs. Well, he goes in, also gets out very happily and says, yes, indeed, I have the longest legs. So the third one says, you know what? I bet I'm the worst singer. So he walks in, comes out very angry and says, but who is Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> okay. So, well, I have a lot of, I have a lot of Borsak still. So, wait for me, please. What is that the only problem of Kazakhstan is that we actually don't get to cook because we all always have sisters or mothers next to us and on the side. <laughs> no, come on, no. Don't, don't say that. It's, it's quite quite sexy, but... No, I mean, like, it's not we force them to do it, but it's like, most of them we work and we are busy uh, by doing other stuff, and when we get home, the dinner and everything... So I think the third batch, third batch went quite well. These look quite, quite, quite decent. Very happy about them, actually. Yay. Yeah, they are good. They look really, really good. Sorry. <laughs> I got some like sweats, you know? Mm, yeah, cooking sweats. <laughs> Do you play any games? Sorry? 
Do you play any computer games? Um, not that much. I sometimes play FIFA football. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, mostly with my roommate, but he is way, way, way better in it than I am. So often when I play against him to even it out a bit, I get to play with the top teams um, like Barcelona or something. And then he plays with, well, uh, the students team of University College Dublin and he still beats me. So, I mean, they have their own team on FIFA yeah. University? That's cool, right? Because wow. Well, so, but I mean, normally you wouldn't expect them to be competitive with FC Barcelona, but yeah, I just suck at FIFA. Okay. Uh, and sometimes when I need to get rid of some aggression, I play uh, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> some violent games. Yeah. How about you? I actually, I don't play games, but I, like many years ago, maybe three or, three or four years ago, I used to play Minecraft a lot. Oh, Minecraft. A lot. Yeah. So I was starting playing this game and it was really interesting. I liked building, fighting, but mostly building. What did you play, creative or survival? Uh, I played on international servers. Oh wow. So like, yeah. And what about you? Did you try to play it? I haven't played it, but that was like years and years ago. So yeah, I kind of enjoyed it back then. <laughs> but to be fair, I prefer board games over video games. Oh yes, definitely. And the, what board games do you like? Like Alias? So, sorry, what was the last thing you said? Alias or Alias? <laughs> the, the game. Do, do you know this game where you have to guess? You have cards and you are like, you are you have sixty one minutes, and you are explaining to your friend uh, a definition and uh, he or she is guessing oh yeah word. Um, so uh, in the netherlands we call it 30 seconds because you have half a minute to, to explain them to, to your partner oh okay i got it so yeah that, that's also a game i truly enjoy um but yeah i tend to be way 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 too competitive in that game <laughs> i always want to win in that game <laughs> I mean, so uh, you are always you are always winning you are always winning or you are seeking to win um well um it, it depends on what i'm playing with but really when i lose with 30 seconds i'm really cranky for the rest of the day wow but but yeah you are you are a debater you you're actually i think you like it yeah, yeah I, I i don't really mind losing debates i do mind losing 30 seconds <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? and what kind of definition would you give to Bower Sucks? What would you give to us? Yes, how, how would you explain to I don't know to someone what is Bower Sucks? If... Um, well, I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna paste it out, so we'll see. Uh, I can take one of the earliest because I think those have been easily pulled down. Almost that's my pen. Okay, I'm gonna try one out. They're kind of crispy. What? They are kind of crispy. Yeah, cool. So um a bit sweet and a bit salt, but that's because I added salt to sugar. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. A bit greasy, but also they're like open from the inside. Hold on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what is it like? What is it like? So, you were yeah. trying it for the first time, and uh... yeah, what can I compare it to? Um, is it similar to bread, or I don't know, to some? I would I would say more like similar to pancakes. Hmm. Agree. That crispier. I need to get another plate. I think I would like that more with a bit of a bit of sugar or Nutella or jelly. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can you can try it. You can. 
It's up to you. Oh! Woo! Woo! Kavat? Yeah. A little bit. So, we made a lot of it. Can you, like, also eat them for breakfast? Uh, actually, yes. So, you can eat all day. You can. Okay. Yeah, we can. Any, any day. But, you yeah, know, like... like they are, uh, in my opinion, they are not healthy. And uh, oh. yes, because they consist a lot of like oil, something. Yeah. They're very fat. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of greasy. But um, maybe I, I t tomorrow I put some banana on it. I think that is pretty nice and it's breakfast. Wow. So, yeah, in that case, I think you are a creator because I have never. Try bowersack with banana. For me, it's like, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna try. It it. Like I think it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we have uh, we have a lot of smoke here. Okay. I will try to. Have you have you played uh, the game Counter Strike? No, I actually never have. I I have heard of it, and I know that a lot of people pretty much like it, but I've never played it myself. Okay. I just I just wonder wondering if like cyber sport is quite like famous in Netherlands. Hmm. Yeah, I th I think it's played in the Netherlands, but I I have never played it myself. So help you with that, I think. Okay, then one question. Um, yeah. How do you, do you balance the your hobbies, your studies, and debating? Because debating uh, actually takes a lot of time. Uh, yeah, well, um, so it, it, it just heavily depends. When I don't have that much time, I'm not really going to tournaments. Um, so I had exams like a couple of weeks ago, so then I decided not to go to any tournaments. Um, but also just when I want to like spend time with with, uh, with non-debating friends, I just don't go. Um, but yeah, when I in the, it indeed it, it takes it takes a lot of time, but it's pretty fun because you also take a lot of friends in debating. Um, and yeah, it's like always in some sort of intellectual challenge. Yeah, sure. I think that's kind of fun. Yeah. I joke as well. Yeah, I'm finishing off the last batch. So yeah, now we 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 end it finally. Mm -hmm. So I uh, now I can try it. Oof. Try it out, man. I mean, you probably already know what it tastes like. No, I I I want to try it because I made it by myself for. I don't know when. I don't know even the last time when I when I made it. I think it was quite it's a lot, a lot. Yes. So you can have a look. Exciting. Exciting. Yummy. One, two, three. Hmm. Not bad. It's good. Think it's good. It's good. It's better than I did previously. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I think yours are a lot bigger than mine. Like this one. Yeah, I mean, mine are like this size. <laughs> no, I also have that kind of size. Like, yeah, this oh, okay. little one. So it's not a problem, yeah. And we also prepared some balls after today. Wow, hey, you're cool. already done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making the dog and mystery. Why not? No, don't say it. It would have been really fun if you said, yeah, while you guys were not paying attention, I made them like just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with Dan. So uh, what are you doing right now, Dan? I think you were preparing some something. Some. Yeah, I'm preparing the, the, the last ones. Uh, I mean, uh, mm. this, this this plate is already up. 
Wow, yeah. Quite a lot. And now I'm preparing the last ones. And then I'm gonna look mm -hmm. uh, what I'm gonna do them with. So yeah, you can have a look. I'm like eating it with this jam. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I have some jam here, so I might. I think I will do that. But I don't dare to look now whether I have jam because I don't want them to get burned again. Mm hmm Ooh. How long are we talking? I think about uh, almost an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Well, quite good, yes. So it was very productive and interesting. <laughs> I'm wondering how many people actually watch this. Yeah, I'm also wondering. I don't, Altman, do you have any like data or <laughs> information like how many people are watching that? Um, uh, currently there are six years, but it was a bit more uh, when you actually tried the balsack. And I had some comments like you should put more oil while you're frying the balsack. <laughs> well, yes, we, ha we had to do uh, that. I, I just forgot. Watching, it's like, put more oil. No, that's not the case. <laughs> Just like that. I hope the comments are happy. <laughs> yeah, 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 great. So, um, the, at what time will your roommate come? Um, I, I don't think my roommate is coming today. Uh, I think he's coming later this week. He's now with his parents. Oh, so you are alone? Yeah, I'm, I'm on my own now. But, um, yeah. But uh, my, uh, my girlfriend is, is coming here after she got, gets back from the base. But is it safe for her to go to the baby? Because don't you don't aren't you afraid of I don't know to have this corona? Uh, well, they're, they're, they're keeping enough distance, so they should be good. And none of them have any complaints. So they like very closely checked how, how they could do it, and this this way they believe it could be good and stuff like that. It could be, be safe. But I mean, I'm not joining now because yeah, if too many people, then it's harder to keep distance. Also, because I wanted to be in the show. <laughs> Thank you. I I really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate that you uh, wanted to learn me how to do this because they're quite nice. First time I made food. Online. Online, yeah. And you eat them like a snack, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they're eaten like snacks? Yes. Not like yes. meals? Okay. Mm -hmm. Not like snacks. Mm -hmm. Or instead of bread. Or yes, instead of bread. Cool. But I, I don't know how other families, for example, in my family, we don't eat it often, like, uh, because as I mentioned before, yes, they are not so healthy and we only like eat it when, when we are just like, you know, we, we have a feeling like, well, we want to, we want to eat it. Like, we like, we want to eat it and then we, we start making it. Yeah. I'm gonna look whether I have some jam. What? Are you taking plates? This? Oh, no, no. I think that would also work. Yeah. A small one. Strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. oh. Great, yeah. Laptop in one hand. The pastries in the other hand. Opening the door with my foot. <laughs> Internet cable. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. it's important. I smell like oil now. <laughs> well, let's let's try it with the gem. Let's try it. Yeah. How are so, yours? So do you know this like thing like A A S R R M? A S R M. Yes. Do you know it? I don't think so. So uh, it's like uh, recently, ASMR. Yes. So it's quite popular right now on the um, on the internet, and the people are like eating food, and they are making a lot of sound. And now, like you were watching it, and you were hearing a lot of and very loud sound. How mm. they are like eating it, like or uh, doing like that. Like, <laughs> and then they start biting, and you are just because of the sound you were watching it. So it's quite mm. interesting. Also. Well, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Jim. Don't forget about the sound. Yeah. Now yeah, it's really nice with the jelly. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Cool. So uh, rate rate this food from one to ten. <laughs> mm. but be honest, yes. Okay, so if I take the entire process, I think they're quite nice to eat, but it's uh, because you uh, need to save the dough for for quite a long time to make sure it goes up with the yeast. Um, I would say that makes it slightly more inconvenient, and um, I burnt myself with the oil. But then again. They're really nice. So I would say in total, eight out of 10. Great, cool. Yeah. I think they're really worth the result. effort. <laughs> so you are like a, you're like a judge, you know? Like, I like <laughs> your arguments. It was like quite very good, reasonable and convenient. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool, yeah. <laughs> So then, thank you for coming to the show and uh, sharing with us your time <laughs> and uh, cooking it for a life on YouTube. Yeah, thanks so much for inviting me. I really enjoyed it. It was, it was absolutely nice, nice to do. It was very nice meeting you guys as well. Yes, thank you. W will you be at, uh, at, at the championships? Uh, I think I will not be there. Uh, <laughs> but but yeah, uh, I will I will find you. That's good. Okay. <laughs> so Alt nice thank you for inviting also. That was really interesting. Yeah, thank you both very thank much. Uh, good luck, Dan, on your work with uh, language officer. You have an interview today, as far as I know. Yeah, thank you. And uh, best thank of luck you, with Dan. all the organizational stuff, Alt Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, good luck, so, Alt for joining us. Uh, if you will watch it later, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and have a nice day. Yeah, bye. Yeah, yeah. yummy. Yeah. Let's go. Goodbye. Yeah, yummy. <laughs>